Mina, Konpanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Tonight we're reading an entire chapter of the Bible. We've done this one other time. Are you ready? Are you ready? And this is not a 30 minute message today. This is Monday. So it's not going to be 30 minutes, but we're going to read a whole chapter. Let's do this. Let's dig in. We're hopping into Esther chapter 10, starting at verse 1. And King Ahasuerus imposed tribute on the land and on the islands of the sea. Now all the acts of his power and his might, and the account of the greatness of Mordecai, to which the king advanced him, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Media and Persia? For Mordecai the Jew was second to King Ahasuerus, and was great among the Jews, and well received by the multitude of his brethren, seeking the good of his people, and speaking peace to all his countrymen. And that's it. That's all there was to it. Huge buildup for three verses there. Yes, I'm not, I'm not kidding. That really was an entire chapter of scripture, which leads into the first point tonight. I mean, it, they're both pretty brief, so I was like, I can squeeze in two points. Two points from a short chapter this short. Number one, I feel a little bit weird as far as saying, okay, I've read a chapter of the Bible today, because just reading three verses doesn't feel normal to me. That took me less than one minute to do, and I'm like, uh, that, that, that's it? That's, that's all I'm doing. I'm really not going to read anymore. And of course, I could absolutely read some more. But nonetheless, I fulfilled my daily personal commitment of reading one chapter of the Bible a day. Uh, man's the one who set the chapters and the verses, not God. They weren't in the original Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. So those are just man-made points by which we can reference Scripture and kind of pace ourselves in our reading schedules. If all you read was some, not even a whole chapter, but even half a chapter... Can I encourage you with that is still reading the Bible? You're still digging in. You're still getting something in your spirit each day. Even if you don't read an entire chapter, read a little bit of the Bible every single day. And sometimes an entire chapter is not going to be very, very long. Some chapters are ridiculously long. Sometimes they take upwards of 15 minutes to read the entire thing. Some chapters, in fact, I would dare say the majority of chapters in the Bible, five six maybe seven minutes that's about it so get your bible reading on get get your groove on as far as reading the bible get that groove into your life it's going to be a huge help it's going to be a huge plus it's going to get you into contact with the mind and the heart of god so get in the word a little bit even if it's not a traditional chapter a day get in the word it will feed your spirit and it'll teach you a little bit more about how your creator thinks on things and the second point here is looking at how greatly Mordecai was promoted and made famous in the land of Persia. He did amazingly well for himself. So the second point really is, regardless of where you are in the world, regardless of what your occupation may be, what your normal talents and tr character traits may be, if you're living for God, no matter where you are, God can promote you. God can exalt you. God can make your name great. God isn't limited to your hometown, your own property, your business. He's really not even limited by your personality. If you're living for Him and you're loving Him, He will take you on some of the wildest adventures you could possibly dream up. And even some you couldn't possibly dream up. Because God is not limited by who we are. And he's also not limited by the circumstances or the country where we live. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, do it, do it in the name of Jesus. Do it for God. And you might be very surprised at where life will take you when you're living that life obediently to him. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.